Use of our skit by wheelchair users. In the following, we will follow how John Smith, who is in an electric wheelchair, makes use of Askit not only for his daily activities, but also extensively for planning and effectively undertaking travels, both within his country and abroad. John Smith is 35 years old and has been living in Athens for many years, where he is running his own business from home. For this reason, John also often needs to travel. In this respect, John accesses the Askit services online in order to book his trip, as well as to book an accessible hotel, and have a personal assistant available at the place of destination. John Smith is a wheelchair user who cannot move his limbs. John Smith does not own a car, but frequently uses public transport. John often uses his mobile and PDA, which are both Askit enabled, to specify where he would like to go to and be supported throughout his trips. John needs to make a business trip to Rome in Italy, and would like to undertake this trip via aeroplane. John Smith has already booked his flight through the internet, specifying that he requires an accessible seat in the airplane. Now he has to make arrangements to get to the airport. John gives spoken instructions to his PDA in order to plan his transportation to the airport. By giving spoken instructions, the PDA immediately launches Askit. John prepares his trip. John now uses his PDA in order to plan a trip to the airport. To do so he enters a start point, in this case his home address, and a destination point, in this case the airport. On entering his required destination, Askit provides a list of accessible modes of transport to the airport. The Askit device offers him the options to use a taxi, the bus or the metro. John selects the option to travel to the airport by bus. The device now presents all of the bus routes that go from John's home to the airport that are accessible to his specific needs, that is wheelchair ramp, accessible bus shelters, etc. John selects the E95 bus as it is the most convenient to him. The exact departure and arrival time of these accessible bus lines is provided. The price of the bus ticket is provided. Finally, the PDA also presents a map of the route that the bus will take in order to reach the airport. Before John has finalized his travel arrangements, he would like to arrange for a personal assistant upon his arrival in Rome who can usher him out of the airport into town, and takes care of practical matters such as translations, etc. For this, he also uses Askit. John is now fully prepared for his trip. He will take Askit with him, since it works in every European country. John starts his trip. Having all of the necessary information, John is ready to leave his house at the indicated time. John leaves his house now in the direction of the bus stop, and takes his PDA with him. The device immediately directs John to the accessible bus stop where his bus will arrive at the specified time. Upon its arrival, John can easily enter the bus by means of a ramp that glides out of the bus. Once John is on the bus, the device informs John what bus stops he is passing, and at which bus stop he will get off, in order to easily enter the airport building through an accessible entrance. Because there is an unexpected traffic jam, Askit informs John that his journey will take longer. John Smith changes his mind and he decides to continue his journey by metro to the airport. Askit will replan his route, and shows John that there is an accessible metro nearby that can also bring him to the airport. John therefore instructs the Askit enabled PDA to look for a new accessible way to go by metro, taking into account the current location of John. The device informs him that he could leave the bus at the next bus stop in order to have a connection with the metro via an accessible metro station. The Askit device provides him with following information. The accessible bus stop where John must get off, the distance from the bus to the accessible metro station, the exact departure and arrival time of the accessible metro line, the price of the metro ticket. John has reached the specific bus stop and gets off. He is guided by Askit to the accessible metro entrance, which is 50 meters down the road. Once John has entered the metro station, he is guided by Askit to the correct platform, where he can board the metro. Because John likes this new route, he decides to store this travel itinerary on his PDA for future use as a preferred way to travel from his home to the airport. John arrives at airport. Once John has arrived at the airport, John is guided by Askit to the accessible entrance. Inside the airport building, Askit informs him where the accessible information desk is located so that John can check in. Askit guides him to the information desk. Because John always travels to the airport well in advance, he has two hours available before his flight leaves. He therefore decides to have a coffee first, and then do some shopping. He can easily find these areas since Askit prompts him on their presence, and also directs him to them. 
John's flight will start boarding in 30 minutes, and the Asker device reminds John of this, indicating that he needs to go to his gate. Accordingly, Asker guides him to the gate. John arrives in time at his gate in order to board the plane. John is now ready to start his trip to Rome. John arrives in Rome Airport. After a two-hour flight, John arrives in Rome and immediately switches on Askit. Askit now receives input in another language, Italian, but provides output in John's language, English. The reverse happens when John interacts in English with the Italian services. Askit provides John again with an accessible route out of the airport building and informs him that his personal assistant is awaiting him. John in Rome while John takes a taxi with his personal assistant to his hotel, Askit provides him with information on special points of interest in the city of Rome, every time also indicating whether the specific site is accessible or not for wheelchair users. John can also decide every time whether he wants to store this point of interest and its information for later usage. John is getting slightly impatient due to traffic jams in Rome, and asks Askit to indicate where the hotel is and how far it is from his current location. Askit promptly presents him with a map of Rome, and indicates his current position. It also highlights the location of the hotel, indicating that it is only 500 meters away. John is relieved that he has this information, since it makes him feel more comfortable and less stressed. Having arrived at the hotel, John checks in, and then decides to go for lunch, accompanied by his personal assistant. John in Restaurant John requests from Asker to provide him with restaurants in the vicinity of the hotel that are accessible. Immediately three suggestions pop up, together with the kind of amenities available and the meals they provide. John decides to go to the Michelangelo restaurant that offers traditional Italian recipes, but before he does so he would like to hear reviews on that restaurant from other Asker users. John enters the local Asker community and finds a local wheelchair user online who, after being contacted by John in a chat session, informs him that Michelangelo is a very good restaurant and is worth going to. He adds that they also have free wireless internet access. Having all this information, John and his assistant go to the restaurant. Again, Asker guides John to the selected restaurant, while at the same time informing him about other interesting sites that they pass by en route. John is now seated in the restaurant which is indeed accessible, when he receives a reminder from Askit that he has to take his medicines. John has however troubles finding them, and activates the locate service of Askit, which informs him that John normally puts his medicines in the left pocket of his coat. The personal assistant uses this information to locate the medicines and gives John the needed pills. John enjoys the restaurant, and reports his positive experience via Askit to the local community of wheelchair users through the community services offered by Askit. During his lunch, John receives an urgent phone call that requires him to access the internet and send an email to one of his major customers. Using his PDA, John accesses the wireless internet and sends the urgent email. John has meeting. Having finalized the lunch, he leaves the restaurant and is happily surprised when suddenly Askit informs him that three other Askit users are in a close proximity and asks him if he would like to meet them. John is interested, the more because he would actually like to find a meeting room for his next visit to Rome, and maybe these Italian users might be able to recommend him an accessible place. John indicates via Askit that he would like to meet the other Askit users if possible, and almost immediately gets a reply back from two Italian Askit users that they are in fact having a small meeting in a meeting venue called La Strada which is accessible to his needs. John enters the destination into Askit and is subsequently provided with directions. John checks for details on the restaurant and receives information on its exact location, available amenities, and even price of the meeting venues available. While traveling to La Strada under the direction of Askit, within 15 minutes, John finds himself in the meeting venue with three Italian Askit users who inform John that Askit offers a whole list of events that take place during the coming days. They show him the overview, every time indicating whether or not it is accessible, the exact location, the price of tickets, etc. One of the Italian people illustrates how he can interact with his domotic system at home. He demonstrates how he can check whether all his doors are closed. In doing so, he notices that a window is still open, and gives Askit the instruction to close the window. Askit promptly reacts and provides a confirmation message that the window is closed. John depends on Askit and realizes that without it, traveling to Rome would have been difficult for him, taking a lot of autonomy away from him. Thanks to Askit however, he is able to travel independently, organize his own trip, and even attend ad hoc meetings without being concerned that the meeting place will not be accessible upon arrival.